everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to assemble a paper flower using my templates number 57. This one is a very simple flower, however it's very beautiful. Uh, for this flower we are going to use uh, two rows of petals. Each row will have pa five petals in it, so I have chosen pentagon as my base and it measures 245. As you can see, all the petals are going to be the same size and they are measured three inches and a half. Uh, we can also use um, this wonderful little uh, centerpiece that I love very much. It looks really good. And there will be two of them. They are identical, except that one is larger. It's 3.5 and another one is going to be a little bit less than 1.7 sorry for my birds are very loud today <laughs> i'm gonna cut the files and come back and we will put the flower together thank you hello everyone again i'm back with the uh, shapes that i have just cut out and we are ready to um, put together our beautiful uh, paper flower using template 57. Um, I have chosen to, to, while I was cutting, I realized that I want to make this center piece uh, half inch smaller. So the initial one uh, was a little bit big. So I decided to give, to use instead of uh, three and a half inches, I used the three inches one. Okay, so Mm, so oh yeah it's the the good idea is to give you to give you some information how the assembled flower measures and i can see that this one uh, a little bit more than seven inches or using centimeters it's gonna be well let's say about 19 centimeters okay um to assemble this flower all we need is bone folder and our glue gun. Um, there is no particular preference for the glue gun. You can use whichever. And, and the cheapest one work as well as more expensive like this one. Oops. Um, so um, having said that, the first thing we need to do, we need to curl our flowers. And this is the uh, basically the trick. The more the nicer, let's say, you, you curl your flowers, the more rich they're gonna look. And uh, as you can see, uh, my template already has the cut in the middle so that you can easily overlap um, the flaps. Um, if you are new to paper, if you are new to making paper flowers, please note that the more you overlap this, the more kind of high standing your petals are gonna be. So you do want to pay attention so that in one row, all your petals will um, will be glued approximately at the same spot. So you don't want something one like this and one like this. Though you may experience, maybe you'll come up with a really new design, which is gonna be really lovely. Okay, so let's curl it. Let's give it a curl. What I like to do with this particular template, I, I curl it slightly this way and then I want to curl the sides. I really like working with this uh, paper for it's really easy to curl and it looks very nicely. I've, to save your time, I have already did my homework with the rest of them. So now we are ready to glue them. And I found that the best way is to use the polygons. Uh, sometimes I use circle, but I feel that for circle it's much more difficult to distribute the petals around, whereas polygons, they give you very clear instruction that this corresponds to one petal, this to one petal and so on. So before we do that, we want to, as I mentioned, apply some glue and overlap it. 
Okay. And this should be done with all of them. And you are welcome to um, resize as you wish. So this flower is very nice uh, because it looks lovely no matter uh, no matter you try to make it like medium size or you want it really giant or you can make it really tiny. Really depends on your needs and your project, your preferences. I also include this flower a lot into my, um, into my um, bundles for I think it looks great. Yet it's very simple. One of my favorites, I must say. And we're almost done, last two petals. Okay, great. Now we are ready to go around. So each petal will correspond to one of the sides of our pentagon. I apply a little bit of glue at the back and let's Take it right here, so pretty easy. It's a quick flower, not much work, but the outcome is really good. I did try to make this flower with the thicker cuts cardstock, but um, I ended up not cur curling the petals. Like it also looked pretty good but no curling because um, the cardstock turned to look really wrinkly and messy so now i'm going to put the second layer right now and here i will play a little trick because i have less space right now so my last petal as i go around will kind of need to be tucked under so here when i'm doing my first uh, petal I will apply glue only on this side, not the whole thing. This is something that I have figured out over the time. And it's really a little useful trick. Right, so last two petals. All right, so this is what I was talking about. We want this to look nice and neat, neat and this has to go kind of under this one. Okay, and so I'm gonna apply some glue and tuck it in. And Basically, it's pretty good, but I can still go ahead and apply some glue here to make it look even prettier. All right, so we are ready for the centerpiece. And for this particular flower, I have chosen to use the same template in two different sizes. As I mentioned, uh, it's going to be the same color. Uh, you are most welcome to use any other color, contrast colors look great. And there are many ways how you can play around this one. So I like to lift it a little bit up and I like for this um, little oval, uh, like a ends <laughs> uh, to be parallel. So it seems to me that it looks pretty this way. Um, you can play around with it and you can try to put three layers. It's probably going to look as nice as two layers, but uh, here we are. So already pretty, like I could leave it like this, but uh, for some reason I have decided to, to use another layer 
Should it go like this? I might bend it as well, but I, I think it's pretty good this way. So applying some glue and let's put it in the middle. Here we are. Ah, perfect. I don't know. Love it. Hope you like it as well. So here we are. Uh, I think uh, it's measures about the same. Yeah. Yep. Seven and little. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, the, the link for purchasing this um, template, if you wish, will be uh, in the description. Um, have a lovely day and enjoy your crafting experience. Bye-bye.